What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys have an amazing day so far. Like always, if you're new to the channel, I want you guys to hit the thumbs up and only if I bring value to you guys through this video or any other video, I want you guys to hit the subscribe icon. Today's video is gonna be super simple. Let me talk to you guys about some of the basic things as to uh, things that you should know before you buy yourself a Corvette. The number one is you're gonna get a lot of attention. Uh, so I'm not somebody that loves a lot of attention, uh, don't get me wrong, I like to be looked at. Obviously, I'm 25 years old. Who doesn't like to be looked at? Especially by women and stuff like that. It really comes down to the fact that you're gonna receive a lot, and I mean a lot of attention. Uh, so far, I have gotten nothing but positive attention, so it's been awesome. Uh, in a sense, I get a lot of thumbs up as I'm driving through, whether it's motorcycles, other Corvette owners, uh, we all always wave to each other. That's kind of like, if you're gonna buy a Corvette, know that that's kind of like a Corvette thing. If you see another Corvette on the streets, you wave to them. That's just basic stuff. Uh, so, uh, waving to other Corvettes, being getting a bunch of thumbs up left and right. Uh, but the biggest thing is ultimately when you go shopping for groceries, whether you're going for a quick grocery shopping or uh, ultimately just shopping for anything in general. I get it, some of you might not drive this car as a everyday car. For me, I drive this car as an everyday car. Um, because, you know, the maintenance on this to me is not expensive. Uh, gas mileage wise, Honestly, it does just as good as my Jeep did. So I usually have it on sports. So that's one thing you have to look at is the fact that you get a lot of attention. It's depending where you live, like here, you see a bunch of Mercedes Benz, a lot of nice cars. So it's honestly, this is a sports car, so naturally people are gonna look at it. Number two, uh, some of the, the things that you have to account for is the fact that you're gonna have to replace the tires uh, because this is super sports. So this is super sports tires and um, I already looked at mine. It's a brand new car that I just pretty much uh, got. It's a used car, but I bought it out of the dealership just recently. And I already noticed the tires are getting pretty much used really fast. Um, probably because I accelerate quite a lot. Um, it's a brand new car, so naturally I'm gonna want to play with it. Uh, but yeah, so you're gonna have to replace the tires. It's predicted to every 7,500 7, to roughly about 16,000 miles. So, so far I put pretty much put a thousand miles in the car. So another five to possibly another 10,000 miles and I'll possibly look, be looking at replacing it. So keep that in mind that replacing those tires are, depending on where you purchase is, I, I heard anywhere between uh, $600 for uh, all fours to all the way up to $2,000 for all fours. So it really depends whether you uh, buy second-handed ones, uh, brand new ones, and whether you get it from Michelin or you get it from somewhere else. So keep that in mind. It's it's quite expensive when it comes to the tires aspects. So when it comes to the oil change, everything is pretty much simple. Uh, you can do it yourself or uh, ultimately have um, one of the shops to do it for you. And they are actually put down on Carfax, so this actually benefits you quite a bit if you decide to ever resell it. So that's the second thing. The third thing is ultimately that Corvettes keep their value. This is one of the number one reasons as to why I chose to actually buy a Corvette and not go with anything else. So my Jeep that I had, I had a Jeep Compass at the time, um, pretty much all four, uh, four wheel drive and stuff like that, ended up costing me just about, just below $30,000. And whenever I sold it back, it was, it barely had 20,000 miles on it. Um, it was pretty much brand new because I took care of every single one of my car. The only difference, slash possibly what I hurt myself with, was that I did all the maintenance. Um, the battery died, I changed the battery. The oil change, I did every single oil change every 5,000 miles or so. And pretty much all the basic stuff I did myself. So that's one thing that pretty much hurt me. But long story short, I ended up getting just about $12,000 for that car um, in order for me as pretty much what I turned into this car. So. As you guys can see, I bought it just underneath. I pretty much lost 50% of its value. So if you buy a used Corvette, right off the back, the Corvette is already $30,000 below what the MSRP is gonna be. So for this one in particular, it's a 2LT um, Stingray 2015. This one roughly, when you comes down to you look at everything that it has, you can, with the red interior, you can pretty much predict it's about seventy-five to $85,000. So right off the gate. And I ended up buying just in a low so that tells you right there that, you know, I pretty much got a brand new car for about a good $30,000 discount. So that's why I said that and ultimately, it's pretty much whenever you buy used Corvettes, the chances are that even if you put an additional 20 or 30,000 miles on it, the most you're gonna lose at a certain point is just maybe 10 to possibly $15,000 on it. But right now with the C7 being the last of its kind, which ultimately has the manual transmission, and or also it has the four uh, exhaust right next to each other in the rear. 
I feel like they eventually gonna start gaining value over time. So, which is why it, this is based on just my personal observation, analysis, and stuff like that. It's not 100% accurate. So, do your own research and then make make your decision based on that. Um, but yeah, so that's number three. And number four, um, creating any sort of mods for the car is extremely expensive. So I had a Skyline when I was in Japan and obviously I, I didn't do any mods for the Jeep, but when it comes to Skyline, I was doing quite a lot of mods. So the Skyline was cheap. Honestly, doing all the mods and doing all the things that I wanted to, it was pretty cheap. For this, I already did the first mod, which is gonna be the second part of this video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, ultimately, it was quite expensive just for the window, um, window um, louvers, as you can see right here in the corner behind me. Uh, the window louvers for the side windows and the the, side, the back ones were pretty expensive. Uh, it's not carbon fiber uh, plastic, or ultimately, it's not carbon fiber that I put on there. It's just plain black. So, and it was still pretty expensive. I, I disclosed the, that how much it cost at the end of the video. So that's one thing I had to think about. The next thing I wanted to do ultimately would be the X pipe. Right now, I'm thinking between the A, uh, AWE or um, ultimately Corsa. Obviously, I like Corsa extremes and stuff like that, but I may actually end up going with the uh, X pipe, uh, AWE, and the actual exhaust system. That's gonna cost me roughly about $1,500 just for those two things. Keep in mind, it's not a cheap car to upgrade and have those things done to it, but you know, if you do, it's gonna be good. All right, so let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this video so far. And like always, if you're new to channel, I want you guys to hit the thumbs up. And only if I brought value to you guys through this video, any other video, I want you guys to hit the subscribe icon.